to me, being work ready means that you develop the skills um, that you don't normally acquire at university, where you can walk into a workplace and communicate with other employees and um, just really develop those soft skills that you don't pick up at university. I thought networking was just about meeting people, but that was it. That was just a full stop at that point. But now I realise after um, taking on the unit at Kaplan that networking is about building career opportunities. I don't feel that employers are looking to see the uh, technical skills, at least when they're first hiring somebody, there's an awful lot of real world knowledge and uh, abilities that a person has to be able to demonstrate first. In doing that, um, I'm hoping that the Work Ready program will allow me to learn a lot of those skills, things to do with networking, working in teams, leadership, etc. And of course, just the practical day to day kind of things, being able to work with documents, being able to communicate with supervisors, superiors, and teammates, all those kinds of things. To be Work Ready is pretty much to be equipped with different sort of skills that you can deal with not just in an academic sense, but also to interact with people, building relationships, to communicate, to be able to have different sorts of skills, even transferable skills, that any employer would be looking for. Um, I think more like, yeah, how to communicate with colleagues is taught a lot in the Work Ready pro program and it's not so much taught at university. They say you do group work, but it's not the same as how you would communicate with your colleagues at work. Job ready means, in the most basic sense, applying for jobs and people hiring me. Because I'm going to finish my degree in, hopefully, all going well, middle of next year. So any job that will pay me a grown up wage will be good. Nowadays, in any workplace, is more and more reliant on working on envir in, in team environments or even in cross-functional cross, uh, groups where you have people working in R&D, working with people in um, investments, to work, people working in accounting. You have all these, all these functional groups working together and being able to communicate effectively across groups, being able to clearly identify your ideas, being able to communicate with other people, that, that's a key undertaking skill which isn't really taught in, in universities. I'm hoping that this uh, Civic 4 frontline management will give me that extra edge yeah, to because everyone's sort of in the same boat, you know, straight out of uni looking for a job and so why, why would they pick me over someone over the other guy? So it's really good to be able to develop some um, skills where we can communicate with others and to really um, learn the skills where you can communicate with other team members and bosses um, in an effective manner. Just know what it's like talking to people in the finance industry, obviously, and just see what their insights are on what people think, oh, what can this person do for me? I'd like to offer something different for them. So the kinds of skills that you'll be looking at are things like being able to create networks, or this, this event that we're attending at the moment, um, or just the simple things as being able to understand instructions, clarify as necessary, good communication skills, um, being able to create documents uh, that are presentable, that meet requirements, whatever formatting or style guides is needed, um, and being able to show leadership, communicate well with the team, and uh, demonstrate managerial skills, which unfortunately are not really taught in anything more than a theoretical fashion at university. I, I found a fascination in learning different sorts of knowledge because the more knowledge that you're equipped with, the more that you can make a confident decision. The more you know about the world, what's happening, what's ethical, what's not ethical, and it, you can form your own judgment rather than be peer pressured into a different position. I think I think you're never ready. I think there's always you can always improve, but. I think like the basic things that you would need would be like communication, which I'm not very really good at either. Theoretically, when employers see that you've done the Kaplan program, they're more likely to hire you because they won't need to train you as much as other people and you already know how to interact with people. You can tell that what's going to come will, will help me get that edge and, and the knowledge to sort of land, land a job. This Work Ready program is Certificate 4 in Frontline Management offered by Kaplan and, Lo and Thruload has provided me with a great experience and learning these necessary skills which are relevant in the workplace. Certificate 4 is an amazing experience to have and a great set of opportunities to learn new things. But on top of that, it's putting these skills into practice. It's 
going on an internship, it's working in the field, that you are able to apply these skills both from university and from Kaplan.